70s. In fact, we're expecting temperatures to top out in the 80s today. So, of course, the beach is not off limits. And, of course, one of the top concerns is safety. Jacksonville Beach is looking for lifeguards. Joining me now is instructor Max Urvaney. Good morning to you. Good Thanks morning. for being here. Thank Do appreciate you. Okay, so I know that you've got an event coming up then on the 15th. And that's really an orientation to give applicants an idea of what to expect. This is a good opportunity to let them know what should you expect if you want to become a lifeguard in terms of what kind of commitment you need to make and, and how physically fit you need to be. Right, so what's so unique about our organization is that you go through a 12-week extensive uh, recruit training class. And once you go through that class, then you are a member of the Volunteer Lifesaving Corps which then you're able to work also for the city of Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue. Because we hear Lifesaving Corps and we hear volunteering, and you think, well, wait a minute, that's not going to be a great summer job if I'm trying to make some money. And the reality is, is that you obviously get paid for other days, but you have to sit the bench, I think, volunteering certain Sundays, or is it every Sunday? Correct. Remind me. So when you first come in, uh, when you first become a member of the Volunteer Lifesaving Corps, it's every Sunday in national holiday for at least the first year. And then after the second year, once you get, you know, some years on you and seniority, then you can start being uh, every other Sunday going on a crew basis. But you will get paid Monday through Saturday with the city of Jacksonville Beach if you choose to work for the city of Jacksonville Beach. And most do, don't they? You know, you'd be surprised, actually. Really? Uh, last year, we, one of our classes, we only had two out of the uh, eight people work for the city of Jacksonville Beach, hmm. and the rest just wanted to volunteer on Sundays and national holidays. It's interesting, too, because I've always heard this. My cousin was a lifeguard out at Jacksonville Beach. A lot of his friends who I know are also um, retired now. You yeah. know, they're a little older, and they're doing other things. I mean, this is a real camaraderie that you have. I mean, it's truly lifelong friends. It truly is. You know, the uh, saying lifeguards for life is, you know, the epitome of our agency. You know, you're not just joining a summer job. You're joining an organization that you'll be a part of for as long as you want. You know, we have guards who have been a part for over 10 years, 8 years, 20 years. And, you know, one thing cool about us is, you know, you said retired. Yeah. Well, after you volunteer for 8 years, you'll have the benefit of, you know, an active lifeguard yeah. for the rest of your life. Yeah, if you wanted to. So let's talk a little bit about the, the physicality of this. Um, what are then the requirements? I know you have to be 16 years or older. I mean, right. there may be some who've never really thought about doing this. They might not be in fantastic shape. Are they still able to try to kind of pull this off? Well, you know, we're looking for very elite, you know, physically fit okay. bodies uh, for our recruit class now. Our time um, for the swim is under 10 minutes for 22 laps in a pool and a mile run in under eight minutes. That is just the bare minimum, um, you know, test in order to get into the recruit class. Now, if you're cutting it a couple seconds over or maybe even a little bit more than a couple seconds, we'll work with you, but there are benchmarks and, you know, we will cut you from the recruit class if you're not making those benchmarks that we're applying. And this is only because, you know, You've seen it. You've reported about it. We have one of the most extremely busy beaches in Northeast Florida. And with our agency working all year round, we also assist other nearby beaches and emergencies. So you don't need to have any um, life-saving knowledge or CPR knowledge, all of that. Not then, at all. And, and let's talk a little bit about what they will learn then over this 12 weeks and through the duration of being a lifeguard. Yeah, so when the recruit comes in, you know, although we do a lot of physically fit training, you know, we teach all of our lifeguards first responder um, lifeguarding for not just the beach, but also the pool because we do do special events, you know, outside of Jack. Jacksonville Beach area. We also teach uh, basic life support CPR. We teach you the knowledge of open water, you know, how to read the ocean, how to read the tides, the rip currents. And then we also teach a little bit about the history of the Volunteer Life Saving Corps since we've been around since 1912. Max, thank you very much. Want to give everybody the information about the uh, orientation that's coming up. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Volunteer Life Saving Corps is having a winter class orientation for those who wish to become a lifeguard. It is on Sunday, January 15th at 10 in the morning. You'll meet at the American Red Cross Volunteer Life Saving Corps right there, uh, you know, in Jacksonville Beach. It's on Beach Boulevard right across from Joe's Crab Shack. To learn more information, you can go to jacksbeachlifeguard.org. We've also made it easy. We've put a link on our website, News for Jacksonville. Just look under the morning show page. And today was